Wow. I almost didn't make it this morning. I was running hard and fast, but I thank God I made it. <laughs> wow, I give God the praise for that. In Jesus' name, amen. Glory to God. Glory, 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 hallelujah. But I thank God that you guys were there and you heeded me in prayer. And that's a blessing in itself. Amen. Hallelujah. We give God praise, honor, and glory this morning. We thank God for the might of his mercy, his love, his power, and his spirit. And we thank God for you, you, and especially you, everybody, somebody in the kingdom of God. And I thank God for truly this is the day the Lord has made. And the Bible says, let us rejoice and be glad in it. I'm happy in Jesus. I'm the happiest I could ever be. Why? Because God ministered life to me and life more abundantly. You know when God is ministering life to you, when you wake up rejoicing over the fact that he called, he given this beloved rest sometime. And I had to rest and move some things around and put it off my mind and begin to say, God, whatever you need from me, I want to be free enough to give back to you. And that's what we're doing this morning. We're giving it back to the Lord. And what a blessing it is to understand life. The real life is only found in one place, and that's in Christ Jesus. And I'm very, very excited about my new life in Christ. And I believe you should be excited about it too, because anytime God gives you life, you can tell him thank you. Hallelujah. And that's exactly what I'm telling him. Thank you. I don't thank him enough. I really don't praise him enough. I feel I owe him more. And I know that you feel sometimes that you owe him more as well. Because sometimes we look at God and say, Lord, I'm grateful. Your grace is something to behold. And sometimes when people look at grace, they begin to say, wow, God gave me grace. Yes, he did. But what is grace for? Grace is called the unmerited favor of God. Anytime you wake up in a day in which you've never ever seen before and grace met you on the other side of that day, it lets you know that it's a wonderful day. I begin to see some things that people do and I begin to say, Father, whatever you do, help me to get the breakthrough that I need. I want to be able to have holy thoughts, pure thoughts. I want to have thoughts that's going to bring glory to your name. So, Father, whatever it is, we're going to win the battle and the fight because our life is going to inflect, reflect you. Thank you, Jesus. And that's what we want him to do this morning, that we want him to be in front of us and we want to be able to put the past behind us. Let us keep going so we can believe God and stand on his word and understand his supernatural surge, his plan, because there's a great demand on all of our lives as we yield ourselves to him. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. Glory to God. This is Supernatural Word Ministry. My name is Pastor Kenneth L. Tate. I thank God for being here, and I thank God for you. I'm asking many of you, as you call this morning, area code 313-838-1035, I want you to come on with us because we are in the straits. Now, some people wouldn't know what that means. We're fighting the devil. Anytime you begin to fight the enemy, the adversary, you pull down nothing but strongholds. And when you're pulling down strongholds, you're fighting up against what they call imaginations. And the devil is a sore of confusion. And the illusion part of the enemy and where the devil will fight you is because, see, you got to realize you're in this world, but you're not of it. And sometimes people seem to think, well, this is my home. This is where I'll be. And after said is done and it's over when it's over. No, not so. We all must come before the judgment seat of God. And there's things that's got to happen. And people say, what do you mean? What could possibly happen? I thought that 
<clears throat> God see me and I'm going to go right into the kingdom of God. No, the Lord says I have some books because I have angels that right there by me and their bookkeeper and recording what you would call in the world secretaries, but yet they record everything that man do. And every idle word that men speak, on the time I call these together, they must give an account. Well, God, but wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. I thought that was a myth. No, that's not a myth. We can't babysit what's about to happen because when God calls us forth, how will you fare? And many of you that says, I'm going to be in right standing with God, God's going to take me and put me in a special place because I'm his special child. Are you really? Everybody in heaven serves one another. Everybody on this earth serves themselves. There's a real selfish mode because people like self gratification. Oh, but when you are in the spirit of the most high God, most of the time, people that's in the midst of self gratification love to please with them self. And God said, do you know, I look at that and I wink at it because basically everybody in my kingdom serve me. Well, now, as we begin to see when we're called forth, the Lord says, now, how will you fare? I gave you directions. I told you what to do and I told you how to do it. And at the same time, when I would speak, you would ignore me. Thus saith the Lord, I call heaven and earth to record this day. And even now, my hand is stretched out still. I have mercy, I have love just for you. But you keep turning me away. How will you fare? It's obvious when God is calling us to himself, we have to really become unselfish and put our hearts in the place where God would have it to be because God's mercy and God's hand is stretched out still and he's beckoning you to come. Even now, come because he's coming as we stand before his seat. Well, we thank God for that this morning. We give God the praise because we're preparing and we're getting ready for the great white throne judgment. It's a play that we're going to have, and I would like many of you to come, and it's going to be strong. We're going to do it right in the fall, but I'm getting ready for it now. We're putting the cast together and people together, and we're going to have a great, wondrous, glorious time. But I'm praying that the Holy Spirit begin to bring multiplicity of us together so we can understand exactly what we need to do a very honest direction with God taking us in. And there's people that I'm bringing together that have had intimate personal relationships and their relationships are very, very strong. And their relationships are very real because they themselves have fallen into a place where they're trying to pull themselves together. I ask many of you right now to come to come and to believe with us, to stand with us, and to plan with us as we begin to do this to the glory of God because testimonies are gravely and deeply needed. A young lady came to church last night and she said, I once one of your favorite listeners, and I still am, but she said, I fell prey to fourth stage cancer. And while I fell prey to it, I died. And when I died, I went through a tunnel. Oh, but as I went through this tunnel, I ended up in the presence of God. And the beauty was just marvelous. I'd never seen anything like this in my whole entire life. And she began to express where she had been and what she had been doing. And it's obvious when you have been in a place with God, you can't even explain it because, see, eyes have not seen, ears have not heard, neither has it entered into the heart of man the things that God has prepared for them that love him. If you love the Lord with your whole heart, I want you to come. I beckon for you to come.
It'll be great, grand, and glorious. Pick up the phone this morning and dial area code 313-838-1035. 313-838-1035. Call now in the name of Jesus. Well, we give God the praise. Hallelujah. And we thank God for moving right now in every one of our midst. I want many of you to just have a time with us. The crime is, if you miss this, you'd have missed everything. I'm not about to miss the kingdom. Remember now, his kingdom come, his will be done on earth as it is in heaven. All right, area code 313-838-1035. I'm believing God with you right now. We're going to take our first caller. Good morning, caller. God bless you. Good morning, Bishop. Thank you so much for taking my call. Thank the Lord for waking me up. Just pray for me to Z and just uh, pray for all those families that uh, uh, got uh, shot up in different states. They're going through uh, uh, tragic and uh, pray that they have the strength to go through. God bless you and just stay on there till the Lord come back in there. And uh, I want to uh, be in that play and I want to let, let me know about that play. God bless you, Bishop. See you soon. Amen. Bless you. Bless you. And you will, sir. It's a real blessing. I thank you yeah. because you gave me the theme. Uh, stay on the air until he comes back in the air. Yes, yeah. sir. Yeah. That's a true, true statement. That's exactly yeah. what I'm going to do. I'm going yeah. to stay yeah. on the air, especially stay yeah. on the and be in the yeah. place where God would have me to be. I'm asking you yeah. to come and join us. That's going to be a tremendous blessing because we're we'll preparing yeah. ourselves to draw closer to the Lord. And why are we doing that? Because see, if you only knew that if it had not been for the Lord, which was on my side, where, where, where would we be? My God, it seems like you got everything now, but do you really? Huh? I thank God that the Lord has given me life and life more abundantly. I thank God for it. Area code 313-838-1035. We got another call? Bobby, good morning, sir. How are you? Hey, brother. Hey. Hey, Bobby. You know what I want me to have to say? I feel pretty good tonight, Pastor Tay. You do? Uh -huh. You get enough rest, Bobby? Ah, uh, you, you did. Now you my rest. Yes. yes, I am my rest. Well, Bobby, right now we're praying for you and the spirit of the living God to give you what they call breakthrough. There's a point okay. where you are anointed to do some things that others cannot do. And Bobby, I thank God for the breakthrough in your life. I do right you. In Jesus' name for your mother. In Jesus' name, we pray. Your two brothers. Yes, God. Your nieces. Yes, Jesus. Your friends. Yes, Lord. People worldwide. Yes, In Jesus. In Jesus' name, we give God the praise. Amen. God bless you, Father. I love you, Father. I love you, too, I love you too, Bobby. <laughs> okay. I give God the praise. Have you ever questioned God about something that he told you to do and he commissioned you to do it? And uh, I've never, I preached so hard last night against sin and to the scared me. And a lot of times when you feel like you scared yourself, you better go check yourself. <laughs> Uh, I said, Lord, what in the world is going on? He said, I'm coming. I said, okay, Jesus, I give you praise for that. Man of God, James, how are you, sir? God bless you. I will bless the Lord at all times, and his praise shall continually be in my mouth. I just want to thank and praise God for being here, for his keeping power and his blessing power. Thank and praise him for just giving me that that I need. In Jesus' name, Bishop, I just uh, 
I'm waiting for that play. I'm waiting so I can excite it because I want to be there. But, Bishop, I want you to pray that God will continually stir up the gift that is in me, that God will give me that that I need, that God will just continue to uh, uh, anoint me by, by his mighty power and continue to open doors for me in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, you know, I believe that door is going to open for all of us, and I want him to open it for you, man of God. I want you to sense the move of God's spirit, because sometimes I know you being a man of God, got a beautiful family, beautiful home, beautiful job, beautiful service in the city of Detroit and everything. You know, sometimes we, we kind of feel that God is, am I doing what you called me to do all that you said for me to do? God, what is it that you would have for me? And, and God says, oh, you're doing it. You're doing it. You're serving me. May the Spirit of God bless you. <coughs> Man of God, may the Spirit of God cause great things to come down on you. As God ministers life to you, life to you. The breakthrough yeah. is yours right now. In Jesus' name. And for this, we'll give him praise. And that anointing is yeah. even excelling and becoming greater. In Jesus' name. Yeah. Amen. And, hey, hey, man. You, yes, you know, sir. my wife and I, we were, my wife and I, we were talking. And she was just saying that your pulpit doesn't have to be the pulpit of the church. Your pulpit can be on your job. Your pulpit can be in the street. And you have to recognize that, you know, and I'm just thinking to praise the Lord for her because that is true. You never know where your pulpit will be. Only thing you have to do is be prepared to be used by God when it's there. Amen. I thank God for that pulpit that God is hey, amen. using you worldwide, globally, everywhere. Yeah. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Love you, Bishop, and I just honor you. Uh, God bless you, and may God forever keep you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. And for this, we're giving praise. Amen. Area code 313-838-1035. We're going to do the station ID. WMUZ FM HD1 Detroit 1035 The Light streaming online at WMUZ.com Detroit made Bible strong Amen We thank God for being here this morning I, My God I woke up just a tad bit late and I thank God for the engineer he called me I jumped up running like I was a fireman <laughs> and as I ran and prepared myself and got ready and got to my little station I thank God that I made it and the real blessed part about it you're still here and we're still here but we're here for a purpose and a reason I'm asking many of you to begin to do a great favor I want you to pray like you never ever prayed before for the supernatural word ministry our funds have run relatively low, both in our church and in our radio broadcast. And I've been up against a real supernatural fight. But yet, I believe, like everybody else, I win. I really win. I win enough to enter in and to do that thing which is right in the name of Jesus. And I want you to pray that we stay in that place where God would have us to be especially now, because that's the place where I want to be with the Lord. And I want to be smack dab in his will. So I know this is just a portion or a part of what we do. We never stop doing what we do because we believe it's ordained by God. And I'm asking many of you in the ordination of God's spirit to bear right along with us as we do what God commissioned us to do. We're going our way to the kingdom of God, and there's a lot of people that say they're going. Well, when I understand, we could say it, but do we mean it? Because we mean it, we're going to do it. 
pick up the phone and dial area code 313-838-1035. Claudia, good morning and God bless you. Thank you. Good morning, Bishop. Amen. I'm just calling in this morning, giving God all the praise, the honor, and the glory. We got back yesterday morning, Bishop, and it was beautiful. <laughs> we had a nice time in Florida. Yes. yes, we did. Everything went well, flying went well, smooth as a uh, piece of cake. <laughs> and I'm just calling in this morning, asking, asking you to comp- continue to pray for me my family, my health, my finances, in Jesus' name. All right. All right. Smooth and straight. A piece of cake. Well, come, come on, Jesus. Jesus. I, I thank God for the Spirit of God. God. Spirit of God. God. Yes. Bless you. Because I really feel good, 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 good about you yeah. having yeah. a vacation yeah. time with yeah. your son. Yeah. And my yeah. God, you yeah. enjoy yeah. your yeah. son. Yeah. And what a blessing yeah. it is yeah. to see your son. Yeah. Yeah. In Florida, have, have a great time with him. Yeah, the nice time. In Jesus', Jesus name, bless you. Bless you. Yeah. Do our yeah. whole day, let God have yeah. His way as you as celebrate. You celebrate. In, in Jesus', Jesus. name, Amen. Amen. Thank you, Bishop. God bless you. Thank God bless, God bless you. you. Amen. The lines are open. Eric code three one three eight three eight one zero. Wait a minute. Engineer, I do believe that my phone liked to hung up. I don't know what happened, but give me a call back so we can make sure we're, we're, on the, we're in the right place. <laughs> Amen. I thank God for that. I really thank God for my engineer. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. All right. God bless you. Amen. We give God the praise for that. All right. The line's open, I think. Area code 313-838-1035. I want many of you to call now. I'm believing God for a move in America because something was handed to me yesterday. I'm waiting to get my hands on it. I really need your guys' prayers because there's so many things that we need to get together, especially now. But um, I got to get into the streets and preach the gospel. I preach it right here with you on, um, I would say, on 103.5 WMUZ The Light. And uh, I preach it on Facebook. I preach it on YouTube. I preach it on Twitter, Instagram. I preach it wherever the door open. And I don't mind. I love it. The enemy is fighting the gospel right now, and the door is slowly closing but we need you to pray like you've never ever prayed before now father's day is coming up real soon and we're going to celebrate father's day and in the midst of celebrating what is a father what is a dad we're going to hold the men up and a lot of the men that are fathers (laughs) i know how you feel but I have sons. I have a son by the name of Hyson. I have another son by the name of Caleb. <laughs> uh, my God, Caleb is my biological boy, but all my kids are biological because I adopt some. And I want to thank God for them. I have grandsons, Neil, and Tay, and, and I have great-grandchildren. And I never thought I would live to see this much, but God has given it to me. And so I'm going to celebrate Father's Day. And I'm going to taste the waters. What is a good dad? And some of you that got children, I tell you, you're going to be able to put them on display. Because they're going to come for you on Father's Day. And so I thank God for that. As you pick up the phone and you dial area code 313 838-1035. I want you to believe with me as we begin to soar in a place where we've never ever been before in the Spirit of God. And we're going to ask God to do great 
and mighty things. There's some wondrous, glorious things that our Heavenly Father desires to do for each and every one of us. But it's totally up to us to permit him, to allow him, to let him do what he does. So I'm asking God to bless you. And the more he blesses you, I'm praying that God just makes some real roads in your life, inroads, that, that's going to cause some wondrous things to happen, especially for you. I'm going to share something with you. Life has different stages that we go through. My stage as a young man was totally different than my stage now. Because when I was young, I really didn't know much about life, didn't know what I was doing. And as I've grown earlier and I hit this stage, I, my top shelf is 70 years of age. And when I hit 70, everything shifted. And I look at people now differently. And the carnal mind that I had is not the ha mind that I have now. I'm much more serious about life. And I want many of you to be serious with me as we begin to do some of the things that our Father commissioned us, commanded us to do. So we give Him praise. Amen. When you pick up the phone to dial this morning, Area code 313-838-1035. We're going to pray. And God is just going to have his way. Yes, he is. Because he's that kind of God. And I give him praise. Amen. <laughs> to God be the glory, the honor right now. In Jesus' name. You know... I I pick up my cross and I deny myself so that I can follow him. And in the midst of denying myself, I tell my father, not mine, but thine. I recognize your kingdom is coming. And I feel the breaking and the dawning of a new day. And it's a beautiful day. I want many of you to have faith and to believe God for the saving of your children, your family, your relatives, your loved ones, and then for the saving of your neighbors and all the people that mean so much to you. You want the best for everybody in the name of Jesus. And for this, we give him praise. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. So right now, as we open up and we pray and we seek the face of God right now, I want you to continue to believe with me as I believe with you. There's some things that God truly wants to do while he blesses you like never before, in Jesus' name. Area code 313-838-1035. And for this, we'll give him praise. Amen. All right? We're going to play another song while we're waiting on you to call. In Jesus' name. Amen. I thank God for all of you on Facebook. God bless you this morning. And what a blessing it is to have you there. I give God the praise. Amen. There's so many I see here. And bless you. And I want to thank God for all of y'all being here. And holding my arms up. A lot of people need prayer. And sometimes there's some people that need more prayer than other people. Well... I recognize that they don't know they need prayer. <clears throat> but I thank God that you know that we all need prayer. And I want to thank God for you for that. In Jesus' name. 
Amen. As we go forward, I'm asking the Holy Spirit to bless. And I want you guys to continue to pray for Bishop. Thank you for praying for me. There's a lot of people that need prayer. I'm one. And sometimes people may say, well, Bishop, do you really need all that prayer? Yes, I do. If you only knew. <laughs> Some people say, well, I know, I know, I know. And I look at them and say, do you really? The Lord has called us to draw closer to him. And that's what I want to do. I want to get closer to God. And I thank God for you, all of you that's there. In Jesus' name. God bless you, Cora, Shirley. God bless you. I think your name is Mary and Patricia. Oh, oh my God. And thank my brother here. He always put a bulldog face on here. <laughs> what a blessing. I kind of laugh when I see it. Amen. God bless you. In Jesus' name, amen. And you know something? I was so tired when I left the sanctuary last night. And I went upstairs and I went to sleep. I haven't slept that hard before in a long time. I was kind of worried for a moment, but God told me everything's all right. Amen. And let me know that everything was all right. I thank God for that. Amen. So I thank God for that. In Jesus' name. Oh, bless his name. In Jesus' name. We're getting ready to go back on the air. Amen. I'm asking God to continue to bless. Amen. As we go forward, let's continue to pray and to believe God. I, I know that the Lord promised. What did he promise us? He said, I come that you might have life, life more abundantly. I thank God for that life, and I give him praise right now. In Jesus, Jesus' name, amen. Hallelujah. Please, Jesus, minister life to so many. And dear God, cause many of us to be blessed as we obey you, as we seek your face. Amen. We give him praise. Amen. We thank God for his spirit, his love, and his power right now. Because this is the hour of power. Three calls. And it's for the believer. And those of you that will simply believe God, call the prayer line number now. Area code 313-838-1035. We'll take our next call. Good morning, caller. Hello. God bless, God bless you this morning. God bless you. Uh, I, yes, I would like to pray for the black and gray family and also those that are fathers. Of my father, he deceased and I miss him. And I'm praying for a housing and breakthrough for the, for the nation. I'm going to believe that, that even though you miss your father, Yes, I do say God that God never lets us down in. And I thank God that He's blessing us to give Him praise, honor, and great glory right now. In the name of Jesus. And I know that my Father is going to give you that added strength. And I'm going to ask God to open up some doors for you as he causes some wonderful things to take place right now by his spirit as you get that breakthrough that's needed for your life and life more abundantly 
In Jesus' name, amen. You be comforted. You be blessed. And may the Spirit of God continue to hold you up as you soar with the eagles of the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name, amen. Mm -hmm. All right. Tony, Tony, good morning. Good morning. Yes, good morning, Pastor Tate. God bless you. Yes. Yeah, I need help. I'm sorry to complain. Please forgive me here. But I've just been having like some flashbacks because I haven't been able to go to the gym and box because I've been in this day out of here. It's really holding me up and it's getting next to me now. And I need help. I need help. I need strength to try to, to make it through this because, like I said, with this thing they put in my chest cavity, it's really making it hard. They're going to take it out soon because they had put one in my abdominal area. But right now, it just seems like it's not taking fast enough. Amen. And I've been getting impatient. I'm not going to lie about it. Amen. Say that one more time. I was listening. You said you well, need to help. I go to the house every day. I mean, not every day, three times a week. And so the way they're doing it now, they put it in my chest cavity, the catheter. And, but they're going to take it out soon because they put one in my abdominal area. They wanted to put it in my arm, but I said, no, you'll make me handicapped. And I'm not going to let you do that to me. And so now I've only got two weeks to go because I started training where I can do it myself at home. And I can do it at night while I'm asleep. Uh, and then I'd be able to resume the normal activities. But right now, it's just not fast enough, coming fast enough. I know I'm impatient because I'm used to shadow boxing, just not going to get it right now. I'm used to being there fighting and letting them hands go. Uh, and I just feel funny because I'm not able to get down like I used to. You know something? <laughs> Yes, sir. I remember when you when you would come over here every now and then. Then I remember when you would fight and train the children, different ones. I'm asking for the Holy Spirit to give you a miracle in Jesus' name. This has weakened you somewhat, but strength is coming into your body because God is a healer. Brand new kidneys are being delivered to you. It's yours by the Holy Ghost. But God gave you something he don't give you back. And I thank God for healing your body right now, those kidneys, and that you be made much stronger than ever before. In Jesus' name, amen. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you. Thank you, Pastor Tate. I appreciate you. I love you. Thank you. We take our next caller. God bless you, caller. Good morning, Pastor Tate. Good morning. Good morning. God bless you. I'm um, calling because I agree with a lot of what you said. I can identify with a lot of what you said this morning. I'm in a different phase of my life. I'm, you know, I'm 70 years old now. And for the last 50 or so years, I've had children, my children, my grandchildren, my adopted children, foster children. And for the first time in my life, I'm living alone. I um, sometimes just feel like I'm not doing enough for the Lord. I try to maintain my relationship with him which is most important, which is, you know, it's the first in my life. But sometimes I just feel like I'm not doing enough. And I, I'd like for you to pray with me about that. And also, I called you a couple of months ago. Uh, my friend, she had gone for a biopsy, a lung biopsy. They didn't get enough of a sample to confirm whether or not it was cancer. Uh, you told me to have her to go for a second opinion, and I thank God. The Lord opened the door for her to be able to go to Carmanis. So today I'm going with her uh, for a brain scan, and then tomorrow she has to go back for that second lung biopsy. 
and I'd like for you to pray her strength. And uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say something. I know. I know. Mm-hmm. Carmel's is a cancer institution. Mm-hmm. I don't know what it is. What it we is. Just, we're just going to believe that it comes back, come back negative. Yes. And the Holy, and the Holy Spirit, Spirit intervenes, intervenes, intervenes and heals along the way. They didn't find, they didn't find nothing then. They ain't going to find gonna nothing find now. now. Amen. God Amen. Amen. Heal in Jesus yes, name. Lord. And I'm thinking Amen. of this heal of her life alone. Yes. Brand new Brand Yes. And Thank you, Lord. And we're going to go to fight. Because God is our Thank you, Lord. In Jesus name, we Thank you, Lord. Amen. God bless you. And God bless you. Amen. Amen. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Oscar, good morning, sir. Uh, good morning, Pastor Tate. It's always a blessing to hear you this morning. And I just call him in for a special prayer, prayer for myself that I'm going through a situation right now and just be like screaming in prayer for God, for His mercy and His grace and His blessings in my life and my family life and the other life. And knowing that God can do all things that I know that I told you in the past, and I want to thank you for praying for my family and the situation with my caregivers and was telling her about Mark 11 and it completed. She got a, a new home and she got a new vehicle at the same time. And so I continue praying for her because she's still going through some family situation and beyond her control, but God have it in control. And I just prayed for myself for uh, healing concerning my health, concerning my mind, my body, my soul, and all parts to do the will and according to the word of God. Jesus, I thank God for many of you that's calling. And oh, what a blessing it is. I give him praise. Hallelujah. Some of you have a need that only God can meet. But he said you have not because you ask not. And when we go to prayer like we do five days a week, but we continue to pray all week long, we just want you to know that God is going to meet that special need for you 
So let's believe God together in Jesus' name. I'm believing that it's going to be done right now in Jesus' name. Area code 313-838-1035. Amen. I'm asking for God to do that right now in the name of Jesus. Amen. Let's believe God together. Amen. Pick up the phone and dial right now in Jesus' name. Area code 313-838-1035. I'm asking for God's move, God's miracle. I'm asking for the greatest outpouring ever in every one of your lives. I believe that God is going to do it for you. But guess what? You know, when God does it for somebody else, he's not a respecter of persons. He'll do the same thing for you. I'm very grateful for that. God would do the exact same thing. Who is it that I'm talking to that want God to move for them? And to do exceedingly and abundantly far above and over what you might ask a thing. I really feel like God is not limited, but guess what? We are. But God made you, me, he made all of us a promise. In Jesus' name. Amen. All right, we take our next caller. Curtis. <laughs> This is he. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I got a problem, a serious problem. I don't think God can help me with it. Okay. okay. I'm an alcoholic. Okay. Okay. I don't know what to do. Can you pray can with, you me? with me? Yes, I'm be glad to. Let me say Let me this to you. you. When you came on, you confessed it, you said, I got to say it's not about alcohol. And, and the Lord loves, the Lord loves you, you, even in being in the being state, in the of, state alcohol. of alcohol. He's never He's gonna, gonna give up on you, because when you were born, he knew you. Yes, sir. And therefore, and therefore he wanted, he wanted to, to Bless you, Bless in spite you, of the handicaps that life may have dealt you. Will you pray, will you pray with me? me? Yes, I will. Say these words, Lord, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. I, thank I thank you for your mercy. I thank you for your mercy. That you've given me. That you've given me. Down through, Down the, through years. the years. Down through the years, Father. I don't I think. think. I don't think I've been where you want me to be. I don't think where you want me to be, Lord. Uh, but Lord, but Lord, but Lord, I believe the word of God. I believe the word of God. I believe you died, died for me. I believe you died for me. And I believe you rose. You rose. I believe you rose. Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. I hand you my soul. I hand you my soul. I ask for forgiveness. I ask for forgiveness. And I ask you, Lord. I ask you, Lord. To deliver me. To deliver me. From. From. from the addiction. The addiction. Of alcoholism. Of alcoholism. Right now, right Jesus. Now, Jesus. Right now, Jesus. Take charge, Take charge of my life. Take charge of my life. And forgive me. And forgive me, Lord. Forgive me. Forgive me. For all sins. For all sins. Right now, right now Jesus. Right now, Jesus. I, receive I receive you. As my Lord. As my Lord. And my Savior. And my Savior. My God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. 
Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. And when you say thank you, I sing God's I want you to take another drink of my spirit. And as you drink more of him, as you hold that thirst after his righteousness, his spirit is going to raise you up. Are you right? Are you right, Jerry? Yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I am. I want you to come visit my church, okay? Tell me where is it? At nine, five, 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 Saint Mary's. Well, the west side. Okay. We're right there. We're right there. Between between Washington, between between Greenfield. Sound. Okay. Okay. Understood. Understood. Yes, sir. All right. All right. God bless, God you, bless you, my brother. My brother. We love you. Love thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Amen. I'm not driving or anything, but I'll get there. The bus will drop you off right in front of the church. I'm trying to help me get there, sir. Okay. Okay. Looking forward to Thank you, sir. God bless you. Yes, sir. Thank you. May Brown. Oh, good morning to you, Pastor Tate. Oh, God bless you and your family and all the body of Christ this morning. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to his name. I give him honor, praise, and glory this morning for waking me up in my right mind and going to be clothed in my right mind and, and blessed with my life, health, and strength in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. I um, pray. I, I thank God for Jesus this morning. Hallelujah. I um, need prayer for my nephew, Obi James, the one, Obi James, that was hospitalized. Uh, and they running tests on him. They looking for blood clots in his body. But I said, I told my, I spoke a word of encouragement to my sister, which is his mother. I said, he is healed by Jesus' strike. I've been praying for my nephew. I need you to lift him up in prayer, Pastor Tate, and for healing. And my son, for healing in his body, for working so diligently and hard each day, my son. And, I just pray they strengthen the Lord and they heal in the Lord in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. But we thank you Amen. For that. And we're asking the Lord, the Lord to, heal to heal him. I have one, I have one of my. Yes, Lord. Deacon, the Lord, Deacon, Deacon, Lord, Deacon, Deacon James, Jesus, 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 and yes, Lord. Test, 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 brain, brain, every memory, sense that all is well, all is well with him. In Jesus' name. Yes, Lord. A lot of times, in Jesus' name. Feel, feel, man, being hospitalized, being hospitalized for, for any for reason, reason that Lord, that Lord God yes, Lord. Heal. And I'm asking and I'm for God to heal the situation we just, just talked about. about. James, James and one of the hospital that you know. The Spirit of God, the blessed man, to draw him closer and closer, and closer than, than ever before. Ever before. In the name of Jesus, and for this we give him praise. Amen. Amen. God bless you. God bless you, Pastor Tate. Amen. We're going to take our next caller. God bless you, caller. Good morning, Pastor Tate. Good morning, Good morning. I would like prayer for my family. I would love prayer for my two daughters that's flying back to Detroit, I mean, to New York at 6 a.m. And my family. And prayer, prayer for Tanya, please. Father God. For the two daughters flying back to New York, six, 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 six
Shall I keep, keep it perfect peace? Yes. Thank you for that peace right there. In the name of Jesus. And yes. Father, we thank you right now for your spirit. In Jesus' name. And for this, we give you praise for you. In the name of Jesus. We take our next call. God bless you, God. Yes, I'm, I'm calling uh, for myself and my family. I and uh, I, I, I don't have an appetite to eat proper like I should. And uh, I just pray, uh, ask for a prayer from my, my children and uh, uh, you know, in the uh. I'm trying to get my life straight now, but I keep going back to the same thing. Pray that I'll be strong and try and do the right thing, A through Z. Unspoken, but I, I need to try to get away from it. But anyway, I need prayer for my family and uh, try to do the right thing. I try to do the right thing. I see this pray for me that go strong. And God yeah. to cause his blessings to rain down on you right now for wonderful things to begin to happen because your heart is set to be in right standing with God and God's spirit to strengthen you and to cause you to gravitate and to come that much more higher. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you. We'll take our next caller. Hi, Pastor Tay. Hi, how you doing, Gertrude? Oh, just taking the step by step, you know, and walking in faith. But I, I was um I was calling in for prayer for all of us, sir. And um God bless you and your family. And um oh you know, in Pastor Tate, I want to ask you Oh, you you said you mentioned something about a play. Uh, You're having a play. When uh, when this one is it, sir? Well, this one is the Great White Throne Judgment, but it's going to be right at the part of fall. And um, I'm sitting it up now. I want it to be a great okay. success. Well, in fact, it's, it's a great success already. Well, it will be, yes, sir. And um, I want many of you to come. I don't know. I, do you stay out in the inks? Where do you stay at? I, I'm sorry. I live in Wayne. Wayne. That's near Inkster. Uh huh. I know. I know. Yeah. Yeah. I live off of Van Bourne Road. Right. I don't mm -hmm. know. I've been out there before. It's a building I went out there. Mm hmm. Some years ago. Oh, okay. I would minister in what? some of the senior citizen buildings there. Okay, was it was it the uh, the Thompson Towers? It may have been. That's a, that that's that's a senior building. Yes, it's a beautiful place. Mm hmm. That's uh, there's uh, um, uh, the sister Angela lives over that way. Uh huh. Yeah, that's she lives over that way. Uh huh. Yeah, she's a good friend. So I just want you to just bless all of us because we all need prayer, and I want to you know. Um, Look into a play. I would like to. I probably can get maybe a, a relative to bring me to that play. Okay. 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 You got all your cast and everything for the play. We're putting the cast together now. Okay. All right, because I may want to participate in that if it's all right. It's all right. Would love to. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Amen. So, uh, yeah. And uh, I'll give you some more information about me off the air. Okay. All right. 
Okay. Thank you so much, sir. God bless you and your family, sir. Amen. Yes, sir. We'll take our next caller. Yeah. Cora. God bless you, Pastor. God bless you, Cora. Thank you. I receive that in Jesus' name. I'm calling in to join in prayer with all of God's intercessors this morning. As we stand together, as we pray together, trusting and believing in God, we just thank God for answering prayers that God is hearing our prayers and God is answering prayers, that our prayers are not in vain as we come together and pray. I just thank you this morning, Father God, for life and life more abundant abundantly, Father God. I just thank you as I lift you up, Father God, and magnify your holy name. For you say, if you be lifted up, that you will draw all men unto you. And Father God, we just give you all the glory and all the praise as you hear your children prayers this morning, that you are answering prayers. And we just thank you in the mighty name of Jesus. We just thank you for all answered prayers, answered prayers. And Father God, Father God, we just ask you to bless the body of Christ, Father God, with a financial blessing, with a miracle, Father God, miracle, Father God. Let your manna rain down from heaven, Father God, and bless the body of Christ, Father, and all those that need a financial blessing, Father God. Just bless your children, Father God, as we cry out to you, Father God. You say that we have not because we ask not, but we are asking right now, Father God, for a financial miracle, Father God. And Father God, we're just praying for all those with addictions, Father God. Oh, Father God, Father God, that you will heal their body, Father God. Oh, Father God, whatever the addiction is, Father God, we're just asking you to snatch it out of their bodies, Father God, to take that desire out of their bodies, Father God, and replace it for a hunger for you this morning. Oh, Father God, we just stand in the need of prayer, and we just pray from A to Z, Father, for so many things that we need to pray for, that we will continue to pray for the city of Detroit, Father God. Oh, Father God, these people with these guns, Father God, let them lay their guns down, Father God. Oh, Father God, send your angels, dispatch your angels from heaven, Father God, and arrest all these demons, Father God. Oh, Father God, we know that you can, Father. You know everything that's going on in the city of Detroit, and all the cities, Father God, throughout the world, Father. Father, we come humbly and we pray to you, Father God, this morning to bless, to heal our city, to heal our land, Father God. Oh, Father God, you're asking that the Christians turn from their wicked ways, Father God, and repent. And Father, you said that you will heal our land, Father God. And we just trust and believe in that, Father. We stand on your word, Father, for you are a promise keeper. Oh, Father God, a healer and a deliverer. And we just thank you this morning, Father God. You know all of our needs, Father God, and you are supplying all of our needs according to your riches and glory, Father. And we just thank you this morning, Father, for life. We thank you for all answered prayers from A to Z. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. 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 Glory, hallelujah. We thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Just want to give that off the air prayer line for the radio listening audience. Yes. And that number is 313-279-0558. That's 313-279-0558. We are here waiting for your call to pray with you for your deliverance. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. God bless you, Pastor, as we hold your arms up. In Jesus' name. In God bless. Jesus' name. Thank you, Cora. Amen. We have another call. Rita. Praise the Lord, Pastor Tate. Can you pray that uh, I go to the nursing home today to minister? Could you pray that uh, everything go well? I do excellent. God to bless you, Rita. As you go to the nursing home to minister. God to bless you in that ministry in the nursing home and meet special needs. I thank you for having that ministry Rita, to go and to minister to those that's in the nursing home. May God bless you and encourage you as you do so. By his spirit we pray now in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. Amen. God bless you. Thank you. 
we give God the praise. Amen. Now, as we get ready to go off the air, I must share something with many of you. We have in financial difficulties, and I need your help. And I need you to write down these numbers. Marie is waiting on your call. And uh, it's important that we get the help that we do need because sometimes people don't know the seriousness that you have. And they think, well, maybe, oh, it's going to be all right. They can say that, but it's all right. Keeping a broadcast going, paying the money you have to pay down through the years is something that we really didn't mind doing. We didn't, we, we thank God for all the wonderful people that we met. Beautiful, beautiful people. And I'm asking many of you to understand that the Lord has used so many of you to help us. No one person can do it, but it takes a multitude of us to do it together. Listen, 313-510-1154 is Marie's number. Marie Moore, my secretary that normally takes care of the Supernatural Word Ministry. We keep the bill paid. And uh, we've been working real hard just to stay on the air. So now if you could be a blessing. 313-510-1154. Our P.O. Box is another place we want you to write us. At 313, excuse me, sorry about that, 27591, Detroit, Michigan, zip code 48227, 27591, Detroit, Michigan, zip code 48227. You can abbreviate SWM on the letter on the label. That stands for Supernatural Administration. 24 hours. Love you. The world love you. I know that God has us here, and we're going to continue to pray. In Jesus' name. Join the sound. Ah.